Hey everybody, welcome back to another IPG Rentals video. My name is Gil and we're going to be talking about the 442 and how to hook up a mic to it and adjust your levels. Let's check it out. The 442 is a great field mixer. It's compact and easy to use. You're going to notice that there's four inputs and two outputs. Those two outputs can go to any camera or external recorder that you do have. One is a Hiroshi 10 pin and the other is an XLR left and right. The LED lights that are in the front of the mixer are great for you being able to monitor your levels, making sure that you're hitting at the proper point for your mix. We also do offer an option for external battery, which we're gonna hook up here and show you how to power on the mixer. And then we're also gonna plug in a mic so you can see how that works as well. We're gonna use the BDS system to go ahead and power on the mixer. The BDS system, we're using a B4B battery with a gold mount. The gold mount plugs into the BDS system, which then sends the power to the mixer. The BDS system is just a great piece of equipment to have because you're gonna notice that it powers numerous devices from the BDS system itself to your bag, which gives you a longer battery life using the B4B, and it's much more efficient and cost effective than using the AA port on the side of the mixer, which only powers the mixer itself. So let's go ahead and get it plugged in. You're gonna first notice that there are the AA ports, like I said, on the side of the battery, but we're gonna go the more cost effective route and efficient route and go ahead and use our BDS system. So first you're gonna to wanna to take the BDS cable that comes with it. This BDS cable plugs right in underneath the power supply. The other end of this cable is going to go directly into the BDS system itself. Go ahead and screw that in there so it's secure. And then you're going to take the gold mount cable, you're going to plug it into the power port of the BDS system. And then from there, you're going to take the gold mount end and plug it into the back of the battery. Once that's all plugged in, you're going to notice there's an on and off switch on the top of the BDS system. Once you hit that switch, it's going to light up green and you're going to notice that the mixer is going to turn on as well. So let's go ahead and hit the switch and see this baby light up. Now you're going to notice that both the mixer and the BDS system are on. And the only way that that's possible, and if you're not seeing that happen, make sure all your cables are plugged in correctly. But also note, there's a switch here on the front. One is for external power and one is for internal power. Internal power is strictly the double A's and then the external power switch is going to be what provides the power from the BDS system to the mixer. So now that we have power to the mixer itself, let's go ahead and hook up an XLR, hook up a mic, and make some sound. Before we do that, I also want to talk about the Sennheiser MD46. This is the microphone we're going to use today, but it's also available here at IPG Rentals. If you're interested in renting this or even just learning about it, there's a link below that you can click on and watch some videos about it. And if you're interested, you can go to our website, ipgrentals.com, and rent this mic. So on the side of this mixer, you're going to notice that you have four XLR female ports. So we're going to go ahead and take the male end of the XLR, we're going to plug that into the back of the mixer, and you're going to see that you have options for phantom, mic, all those different options for power. This mic right here needs to be mic and phantom power. So once you have that set and you're plugged in, you plug in the other end of the XLR into the mic. Spin the mixer around, and you're going to see that right now there's no levels. Even though there's no levels and I'm talking into this mic, the reason being is because my fader, which is this right here, you have four faders, one for each channel. Each fader needs to come up per channel. Once it comes up, you'll see that I have levels and you'll see here, those LED meters that I was talking about before, they're lighting up. The louder I get, the more the color changes. If you go past zero and it starts to turn orange, you're typically peaking or you're clipping at that point. As you need to adjust your audio levels, you'll see We'll go to channel one. Channel one has the fader, the gain, and the roll off. The main thing for the roll off is basically eliminate any low frequency dBs that you may be hearing in the atmosphere that you're in. It doesn't eliminate them all, but it's a benefit to have. You also have a prefade. The prefade is very helpful if you're doing more than one channel at one time and you're hearing a noise, whether it's a click, whether it's a hum, regardless of what it is, you need to figure out what channel is making that noise specifically without manipulating the actual record. All you have to do is hit this pre-fade button, make sure you hold it because it is a toggle switch. Hold it down and you'll be able to hear just that channel in both ears and it allows you to figure out if it's that channel that's making that noise. So this right here is your left, center, and right pan. What, you, what this is really used for is basically to show which channel you want the camera to go to and record. Whether it's gonna be in channel left, channel right, or both, which is also known as center. Just to show you an example here, right now we have it in center and you see here on the meters that both are jumping. But if I go ahead and pan this to the right, you're gonna see now that only one side of the meters is jumping. If I pan it to the left, 
the other single channel is now bouncing. That right there tells the audio whether it's going to the left side or the right side or center of the record to give you options for singling out separate mics. Another tip for you is with this, you have the ability to designate one mic to one side and another mic to another. So for example, say you have a lav on one and you want that to be on the left side and you have a boom on two and you want that to be designated by itself on the right side. So what you'll do is you have your faders. Once you have your levels right, you go ahead, you pan channel two all the way to the right, channel one all the way to the left, and now those are two completely separate recorded channels. They do not bleed, they do not blend. The only way that you will have a bleed or a blend is if you notice this wheel goes all the way around. Once it's center, you will feel a click. That click means you are centered. But if you're not all the way hard left or all the way hard right, it is not completely focused to just that individual channel. So that's just another hint to make sure that you are all the way to either side to make sure you have the best record possible. So on this side of the mixer, just underneath the LEDs, you're gonna notice that you have a variety of different buttons here as well. This phones button right here is strictly just for your headphones. You can spin it left to right to raise or lower the volume and say you don't wanna bump it on accident, just go ahead and push it in and it's secure from that point. On this side of the mixer, you're gonna notice just underneath the LED lights, a couple of very important buttons. You're gonna notice that you have an AB return, which is very, very important. It's key to honestly mixing audio to a camera or any recording device as long as it can send a return back. That allows you to listen to whatever is being recorded to that card or to that camera or whatever it is. You wanna hear that they're getting the best audio that they're getting, not necessarily what the mixer is getting. There is a slight difference from what you hear inside the mixer and what the camera or the recording device actually receives. A and B strictly means camera A, camera B. You wanna make sure that you're listening to both of those, meaning if you have more than one camera, you can switch between the both, or you come down to this wheel here, and you'll notice that it gives you the ability to listen to A and B or A by itself, or you can listen to stereo, which is strictly just listening to what the mixer is giving you. Another really important outside of having your return for A and B is tone. Sending tone is you're gonna hit this button right here that's labeled mic or tone. You're gonna go ahead and switch at the tone and you notice that you're hitting at zero dB, which is the same as negative 20. This is sending the proper tone for this mixer to whatever device that you're recording to, whether it's a camera or external recording device. From there, you can adjust the levels on that device to give it the proper tone for this mixer to give you key audio. Next to tone, once you kill the switch, you can go back to doing audio, but say you need to make little quick notes for the edit, or you just wanna get room tone because there's a lot of ambient noise, whether it's air conditioning or just noises from the building itself. You go ahead and hit this mic right here. Make sure you hold it because it is a toggle switch. When you hold it, it opens up the mic inside of the mixer. Really important with that, it kills all of these other channels which means the only audio that your recording device is hearing is this mic right here. So once you're done, make sure you let it go. That's why it's a toggle switch so that accident doesn't happen. Now that you've seen the in and outs and the capability of the 422, here at IPG Rentals, we wanna make sure that you have the equipment that you need to get the job done properly. What you see laid out in front of you here is the standard package for the 422. This package includes two transmitters, two receivers, two lobs, one harness, headphones, coiled cable with a boom and boom pole, as well as camera cables. You'll also notice the BDS system and a 90 watt battery, which can power not only the mixer, but both receivers. So there's everything right there with the 442 to give you the best audio possible. Here at IPG Rentals, we wanna make sure that you have the best gear for your job. So we make videos every Monday just for you. So if you like them, please comment, like, and subscribe, because at IPG Rentals, it's our gear, your vision.